I also want to thank my grandma who taught me that boundaries are meant to be broken. And 最后，我想感谢所有支持我的朋友们啊，我们一起加油，谢谢。Thank you. There is outrage over this year's ESPY awards after Eileen Gu was named Breakthrough Athlete of the Year. The American-born skier ditched the U.S. to compete for China during the Beijing Olympics and won their team a gold medal. Our next guest is a vocal critic of China and worked hard to become an American citizen himself. Joining us now is professional basketball player Ennis Cantor. Ennis, welcome. What are your thoughts on ESPN giving her this award? I mean, she just de-announced her U.S. citizenship to compete for China in the Olympics. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe she born in the USA, but just because of she wanted to get more endorsement deals uh, from China, mm -hmm. she want, she decided to compete for the, the communist uh, the communist China. I mean, to me, that's not inspiring at all. To me, that's a sellout, and it's it's extremely disappointing that uh, she is letting herself to be used for China's positive PR and distract us from talking about the real issues that's going on over there. So it is unacceptable. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. She should get the sellout award. She clearly did this exactly. because she's got all these endorsement deals. And you're right, it gives China um, a PR win that they don't deserve given the humanitarian crisis. Has there been any other like athletes besides yourself talking about how this looks for her to represent China, um, given the hu human rights abuses, um, especially, and n n never mind that they're our greatest, you know, global competitor and want to take us down. You know, I remember during the Olympics, I actually did try to re reach out to many athletes, many Olympians, and not just people in NBA or athlete, uh, athletes in NBA, but athletes in other organizations and associations too. You know, I did try to create a movement, but unfortunately, you know, they are going to talk about the things that until it affects their money and business and endorsement deals. And it is, it is really sad, actually. Um, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to give up on, you know, trying to reach out to people. And because I just don't want these athletes to be used as propaganda for the world. Because yeah. Beijing Olympics was a distraction and it was a propaganda. And all these athletes who competed in that Olympics was part of the uh, genocide Olympics. And it, I just saying it's unacceptable. Yeah, you know, their strategy in China is this elite capture. There's also an athlete capture, and there just aren't enough mm. athletes like yourself who have a moral backbone. Um, let's talk about Nike and LeBron and the NBA being silent mm. as China cracks down on the LGBT community. Um, do you think that will remain the case? Because the LGBT community is pretty powerful in the United States. Um, are you hearing any rumblings from them about pressuring the NBA, at least on that, because of that issue, if not the Uyghurs. No one seems to care about the Uyghurs um, yeah. besides you and, and some conservatives. But um, what about the LGBT community? You know, when you, you just mentioned Nike, and when you look at Nike, in America, they stand up for, you know, uh, Black Lives Matter, no Asian hate, LGBTQ community, uh, Latino community. But, you know, when it comes to China, they remain silent. And all the Nike athletes out there, shame on them. You know, they are silent about all the abuses are happening around the world, especially in China, because they know that as soon as they talk about the problems are happening over there, they are not going to be able to get more endorsement deals. They're not going to, some of them might not even be able to get another pay paycheck or next contract. Um, I think human is uh, human. It doesn't matter where they're from mm. or uh, which country they're in. So it needs to be called out. And I am standing with my uh, brothers and sisters around the world, especially in, uh, in uh, China. Yeah, so much selective social justice. Um, you are a powerhouse, mm -hmm. Ennis, and somebody with so much moral courage. It's such an inspiration um, and an example in the athlete, athlete world. So thank you so much for joining us. We really love having you. Of course. Thank you for having me. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.